totally shouldn't work, but it totally does. How's my girlfriend, guys, huh? What? Bank robbers zero, Supergirl two. <laughs> and what do you even need cops for in this city? Oh! <laughs> He's from a different planet. He doesn't even know what he's saying. No, he's right. Why bother trying to talk a guy down when Supergirl can just swoop right in and force him down? 17 hours of what do you want? How can I help you? Good old fashioned hostage negotiation wasted. You're not upset that I caught the bad guys and got everyone out safely, are you? I would have gotten them to free the hostages. Maybe, but they're in jail now where they can't hurt anyone. That's. Well, it matters. As long as they don't use the Supergirl defense. What? It's a thing some criminals use to get their charges dropped. It's a perfect storm for a defense attorney. Excessive force, evidence contaminated by debris, vigilante justice. Vigilante justice? I stand for hope and help and compassion. I, I did what I had to do to get those people out of there. I think what Maggie's trying to say is that what you do is amazing when we're up against a giant purple monster or a half cyborg murderer sure but most of the time police work requires a more delicate touch delicate yeah you broke a guy's arm and you gave another one a concussion and that was after you knocked in the roof of a national city landmark and now it just has a big supergirl sized hole in it a thousand things could have happened from the time of your call to the hostages walking out maybe yeah sure i broke some walls but I got everyone out of there safely, and that is a win. Well, you should have asked, but you never look before you leave. Because I can fly. Uh, <gasps> bad guy in the elevator. I hope in a good way. A device for matter transformation and reconfiguration? It's astonishing. Well, I saw your TED talk on the future of quantum technology. Which made me think it might be right up your alley. This could revolutionize travel, energy, security, just about anything. You could move food and water to famine stricken areas in an instant. Hello, car adapters. Who is this? Well, the real question is who are you? Everyone around you thinks you're just a mild mannered reporter, but I know the truth. What do you want? I have your sister. You're lying. I'm not. A man named Peter Thompson is serving a life sentence at Albatross Base for Max. You will free him within the next 36 hours, or your sister will die. And I know you can, because I know you're Supergirl. Let me figure this out after I cross-check the name with the court transcripts. The king spoke at Thompson's sentencing, and his name is Rick Melvern. He has a house an hour outside the city. Melvern? Why does that sound so familiar? Because he grew up in Midvale. Alice! She can't hear you, Carl. Rick? Jeez, I haven't seen you since graduation. You look great. Where's my sister? You break my father out of prison yet? Of course. I took a whole year planning this. Watching Alex. Preparing. I know everything. How did you know I was Supergirl? That day at the beach. Before you started wearing glasses. Hey, Rick. A bunch of us are in the Swan Beach after school. You wanna come? Back then, I had no idea that Alex would end up playing for the other team, so to speak. I was just happy she showed up on the date. Your new sister's kind of weird. And there was a crash. Carl! <gasps> what are you doing? Alex's kid sister walked away without a scratch. People at school said it was adrenaline. But you didn't believe that. I saw Cara Danvers do something amazing. And it stayed with me. I knew Cara was uh, living in National City, and then Supergirl showed up in National City. <laughs> I put two and two together. I knew it was you. I can't believe that we're still talking about me. You have 24 hours and 11 minutes. Come on, Cara. Show us some of that rah-rah Midvale Junior High spirit. Isn't it? You're an alien. And this device just proved it. Red is never good on this planet. I don't know who you are, but I am not helping you build anything. 
You talk about betrayal and people hurting you, and then you do it in spades. I want you out of my office. <laughs> that is Martian Manhunter. All that time in prison, I imagined a day when I could talk to you. That thing, you couldn't decide whether to hug me or not. That's vintage dad. What are you talking about? My I've been planning this for a year. Do you really think I didn't prepare for you? Marsha. Oops. MacGyver. Total MacGyver. What is she doing? Ouch. Why the hell did she do that? What the hell? Did she like do her blood in there? What was that? Green. Blood trace. I just got a software update request from one of our trackers. The system's not recognizing their IP address. Looks like a hack. Should I kill it? Wait, 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 wait. That's Alex. She 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 couldn't get signal on, so she wired herself into the camera, which means we only have to find the location of the camera's IP address, Alex. You beautiful human, this is next level. Now you have your... Now you have four? Uh, for real. Oh, and 
and uh, you called for some advice? Yeah, yeah, I, I figured it out. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. I know. Bye. Ready to change the world? You have no idea. What does that mean? This is... And the conflict within this episode was mostly between Maggie and Kara. With Supergirl's involvement, because of the judicial system, and when they have a free trial, they could still be let go free. As she was mentioning the Supergirl effect. So, um... Yeah, I learned something today. It looks like Kara did too. But also it seems that with this episode, I noticed with Kara, she, like Barry, doesn't realize the consequences of her actions. And I'm talking about Barry from The Flash. But I think with these superheroes, they become so powerful that they don't realize, yeah, that there's consequences to their actions and that there's a ripple effect. So they may catch the bad guys, which is pretty much all that they care about. I think with Kara, she's realizing that there are some skill sets that she just doesn't have or that she just can't use the same tactic over and over again. You know, I'm really impressed with Alex. I liked how she went MacGyver and I didn't realize they had that chip on her shoulder. I'm like, oh, what the hell is that? But apparently that's her... I guess each DEO agent has a tracking device on their system or something in there. Um, so that was kind of freaky, but yeah, it was kind of cool at the same time. So I thought that, that was part was pretty cool. So Rick Malvern, that is his name, Malvern. So apparently he figured it all out, who, who Carr is, and he was able to place two and two together. Well, you know, at least you can say, hey, people are pretty intelligent. Like Maggie, she was able to figure out who Carr was because glasses, no glasses. You know, like, glasses? No, wait. So, like, Maggie should figure it out. Glasses? No glasses. Same person. I thought this, I thought this episode was pretty suspenseful. Um, you know, it seems... Kind of predicted that, you know, at the very end, of course, they're going to save Alex. I like the whole relationship between Maggie and Alex and how, you know, they got their first this and their first that coming up. And so that part was pretty good. And at the end, you know, I was like, oh, are they going to get married so soon? But or else going to think like, wait, there's something I wanted to tell you, you know, what Alex and I'm like thinking, did she want to like adopt a dog? John Jones. Actually, John Jones really pointed it out. So she couldn't hear her sister within the city. And she said, you know, um, she means a lot to me. And John Jones corrected her. He means she means a lot to us. And I think that's something that Carr doesn't realize is that she's not the only one here. That there's other people who do care about Alex as well as other people who are involved in this. And so, you know, I think it I think it is correct to say that at times, you know, Carr may mean well, but she is self involved. So I think with the writers, it would be nice to see her develop and mature in that way. Um, that's what I'm That's what I'm gathering. So, but it looks like next week's going to be a lot more interesting. Even though there was a lot of tension with saving Alex, um, still not enough. I, I didn't think there was still not enough action going on. I'm seeing a little bit of a, a shift here. And I don't know about if it's just me or if it truly is what I'm saying, but I, I do see a shift in the storyline. So I'm hoping that, you know, we'll get more battles and um, between the aliens, Martian Manor. I think if you felt it was kind of blasé or if you thought it was really good, maybe I'm missing some scenes about it. But um, I don't know, I, I kind of like more action, and I think that's what we're missing. We're kind of missing a little bit more action here with the whole Supergirl story. Okay, so I'll talk to you later. See you later. Bye.